starting early in the day. Constantly people here working. Lead ice builder Anna Klosser. This is my job, yeah, full time. And her ice building team have been rolling. Spending the last two months in Dillon building this massive ice castle, using 25 million pounds of ice to put up 40 foot towering walls. We have some caverns that you can get lost in, which are really cool. And the ice castle has been carved out with secret passages and ice formations that will be explored by more than 400 people an hour. Anywhere from 200 to 400 people an hour here. This is the second year for the ice castle, but this time it's being built bigger with more to see, including three ice slides. I am chiseling it out so that we can make it nice and smooth for people to go down. Thanks to some perfect ice castle building weather. The weather has been cooperating with us. One reason why when people ask Anna about her job. I get to work at an ice castle, I get to explore, I get to ice climb all the time. She'll tell you it's very cool. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> And it is a pretty cool place to hang out. Again, the Ice Castles open up later today. And then it will be open Thursdays through Monday. Tickets will be about 20 bucks for adults and about $15 for kids. Fluctuates a little bit on that price on the weekends as well as the hours, but typically open from about 4 in the afternoon until the evening, which is when a lot of people say it's most magical. Uh, the town of Dillon says that they uh, got about $3 million in revenue from the Ice Castles last year we're making our way now to one of the slides by the way we're gonna try to go down it and see how things were shaped up here we go Woo! Oh. <laughs> so Marty there's one of them and it works perfectly it looks nice and smooth and fast beautiful work there Matt it's great to see it's such a, a wonderful uh, just one of the many kind of events you could go up and do and take part in in the high country here coming up through Christmas and beyond. It's really good to see.